Hello and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire quick tip video. My name is Jose Libeguirre from Spotfire and today I am going to talk about the new marking dialogue. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with my sales and marketing analysis. You can find this in the sample directory. And now we're going to look at the markings panel. These marking panels has a lot of information, useful information, so you can see all about your marking. Sometimes we get a lot of markings and it's easy, it's, it's uh, difficult to track, but with this new addition, we'll see what's going on. So I have uh, five different markings and this first marking is called the market rows is the default marking that I'm using and is, a, is, is being used by two visualization which visualizations are using this marking okay so it's the sales and performance tab and I have two visualizations the performance matrix which is the, the topmost this this one over here and then I have the map chart which has one layer which is the sales and marketing layer that shows the number of stores in the map. So these are the markings and what are the visualizations that react or are limiting the data by the markings? Then I have here that is there's only one and it, it's, a, it's a table. Sales performance is the store details is this one, this one right here. So if I select something from this marking, you know how it works. This visualization is limiting the data by that marking that I selected or vice versa by the map. Let me move this out of the way. Then uh, I can select something on the map. Let me switch to selection, something on the map, and then it's going to limit. So these two visualizations use the same marking and this table here is reacting to that marking in, in particular. Now, let's see about this other marking. This other marking is being used by the store details, which is this one. I can select uh, this one, but what happens if I mark these elements or these rows from that uh, self performance stalls? It's also going to be reflected in the ter 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 territory analysis a sales and marketing so it's the territory analysis in sales and marketing a visualization that is is over here and you can see a, how this is being affected so let's go back to this one and see what a, visualizations are re reacting to and is the bar chart from the territory analysis is this one so uh, again let's uh, make some changes to the sales and performance. Um, I'm going to look at these three and then go to the territory analysis and now I can see how this bar chart changes with the selections that I made. And I can also change the name of the marking, just I can change it as a default marking or rename it. I am going to do, maybe this makes more sense, but you can rename it to whatever you want and I have more markings maybe this marking I can delete it this is not being used by anything just delete clean it out there's no visualization using it so I can just get rid of it and the marking 3 is only being used by one visualization which is the bar chart on the territorial analysis maybe I want to drill down further so I'm going to keep that uh, as is but if not it's okay I can change to other analysis and that's all I have for today. So if you have any ideas on how to enhance the product, I encourage you to go to the ideas portal. You go to the ideas portal or you can scan this QRC code and you will be able to add a new idea or search ideas, vote for new ideas. Um, you, can, you can suggest new Dr. Spotfire Live sessions or quick tips that we you want us to talk about or some templates and examples, white papers. Uh, there's a new sections there where you can you can just submit all these kind of ideas are welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.